Well, hello there, my most amazing and awesome Virgos. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. And boy, what a weekend it was, right? Right? <laughs> if you're new to my channel, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. I am here Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern. There's always a reading, always something going on. If you have joined my channel and became a member, welcome. And also, I'd like to welcome Missy Baby 1934, Kimmy. I am Evie Love to the channel. Welcome, you guys. It is so awesome to have you here and being a part of the Virgo gang. So, Virgo, personal reading link is in the description box below. Let's get into this. Hello to all the mods and everyone in the chat. We're going to take a look and see what the messages are for the week coming up. Oh my God. Uh, uh, April 14th through the 21st. You have Healing Heart, Healing from Heartbreak, Freedom from Toxic Relationship or Addiction. Okay. You also have the Hammer, Sabotage, Rebuilding, Interrogation. Okay, working on something, being persistent in your life, persistent in your healing. You also have the axe. Wow. Breakup, separation, stopping the pattern of the silent treatment and abandonment. So, Virgo, looks like this week <clears throat> you're laying down the law <laughs> for yourself, right, Virgo? It looks like this week you're, you're done with something here. That's it. You're rebuilding your life, being persistent with your healing, getting away from some kind of toxic BS, <clears throat> um, people, places, and things, putting the ax down, cutting something off here. That's it for you, right? Okay, let's take a look and see. All right, you've got the Queen of Cups. So this card shows Cancer and Gemini. Okay, so that could be someone that you're cutting off in your life. It could also be a Scorpio. It could also be a Pisces. But this is a card of you being in your energy as well regarding your healing, nurturing yourself, being very intuitive, caring about yourself, becoming emotionally stable, being comfortable, um, having calmness, being compassionate with yourself as well. I feel like, Virgo, you are just loving yourself this week. Loving yourself. You're just like, you know what? I don't need you. I don't need that. I don't need this. That's right. Here you go. Four of Cups energy here. Reevaluating something. Disconnecting. Wow, Virgo. It sounds like you're putting yourself first. You're putting yourself first. Right? And it's exciting. There's the page of wands. It's exciting. You feel inspired. Um, I posted on my social media earlier today that... I put um, many moons ago when I used to dance on the edge of someone else's fire until I learned to create my own fire and dance because of it. And that is an energy of saying, you know what, I'm worthy, I'm good enough, I can create my own fire here and be happy, right? And I feel like, here you go, Ten of Cups. This is you being happy joyful in harmony with yourself having harmon har harmonizing blissful relationships in your life coming into alignment having dreams come true having that total love and support by others from spirit it, it it's like i feel like you're on a new start this week some kind of a new journey you know and coming to the end of this mercury retrograde as well the mercury retrograde is a time of contemplation and re reevaluating things thinking about you know relationships thinking about what options you have thinking about you know what you want what you need to do okay and taking that time to disconnect and cutting your losses cutting some kind of losses, right? Look at this. You may have felt like you've been in this trapped energy. You might feel like that right now, okay? Um, feeling like you're imprisoned or, you know, but it's like realizing that you can walk away from negative thinking. You can move yourself out of a situation. You're not a tree, Virgo. You can move here. You weren't planted there permanently, Okay, look at her feet. Her feet are, look, she's taking her first step coming out of this. Yeah, Virgo. 
this is making some absolute decisions here this week okay so i see you doing that this week i see you reevaluating who in your life is there for you and not there for what they can get from you i see you i see you stopping giving so much to every person place or thing and starting to give to yourself what it means for you to be happy right you might have been an over giver virgo say so of the ten of pentacles this is beautiful this is like coming into complete stability <clears throat> financial security family long-term success contributing making contributions where there are a return on investment right and this is practical thinking what have i been investing in in my life that i'm not seeing any results in where am i spinning my wheels what where is this energy i have all this abundance of energy where am i putting it why am i putting why am i throwing my energy away on things or people or places that don't appreciate me don't value me in return what's going on here and kind of like doing a little check off little box here <clears throat> pulling back your energy maybe even but i see you having all of these ideas you have this fiery spirit in you this week for sure this excitement about your freedom feeling free okay this is awesome this is really awesome look just when i was saying freedom freedom i won't let you down will not keep you home. right the fool new beginnings look at that optimism blind faith adventure opportunity what are the possibilities here this is amazing virgo you're taking a leap of faith this week you're just going for it after you figure out like what path you want to go i feel like you're going for it <clears throat> you're going to do something this week that is totally <clears throat> I, I want to say spontaneous, but I also feel like it's something that you've had on your heart <clears throat> that you've been wanting to do, and I see you just doing it. Just making that decision, an out final decision, and then just going. You know? Let's see. What else do you have here? This is amazing, Virgo. What a way to start your week. Very positive and very uplifting. Okay. There's a Nine of Swords. Why? You might be having some some nightmares you might have some nightmares this week you know last night i had a dream that i sold my car and i got like a really old clunker and i couldn't get my 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 baby back and i was so upset i woke up this morning and then i realized i looked out the window i was like oh thank god my car's still there <laughs> so you might be having some you know some dreams at night some worries and some fears um you get the three of swords there about ending something with someone or heartbreak or a feeling of like oh am i going to suffer do i have to go through some grease uh, grease or maybe somebody's from greece do i have to go f through some kind of grief um hmm virgo it's it's normal i feel like this is normal you know because when you're embarking on a new path in life and letting go of some old shit that just isn't working out for you that you might have had an attachment to even if it's some kind of an addiction or something you're gonna have those nighttime dreams you are everybody that's the process it's a psychological thing everybody goes through it um it's a release okay um it's it always is going to be hard before it gets better and you got to hang in there that's what i feel like you got to hang in there whatever this has to do with in your life whatever this break separation it's the first stage of completion right and once you get through this these difficult nighttime worries anxieties or moments of hopelessness or feeling like oh i can't do this having those doubts maybe some insomnia or just you know worries fears n nightmares uh, waking up and realizing like this is the process trust the process this is the process to healing and being able to move on and move forward in your life everybody goes through this some people they get so scared that they the anxiety or the worry and the fear is too much to bear and they wind up turning around and going back maybe they try again later you know they relapse back into some old habits old behaviors 
But understand, once you understand the concept of healing, that this is when you start getting these um, difficult moments as you're releasing, this is part of healing. This is, you don't be afraid of it. Push through it. Don't go around it. Don't avoid it. Push through this energy, okay? Understand that the other end of that tunnel, that's where the light is this transition you'll be able to change release the baggage and move on that you know that's part of the process the healing okay and here you have new hope new hope it's like a star wars movie hope you come to a place of calm you will your faith gets restored you understand your purpose and why you started this you renew your spirit your spirituality there's good fortune, good omens. You rejuvenate yourself, right? So this is a beautiful energy. And uh, speaking of letting go of something in your life that you know you need to let go of and getting into this healing mode. You, like, you have to heal first and give yourself time, okay? So you surrender. Here you go. This is a card of surrender, and that's, that's it. Surrender to this this process to say I'm not going to try to control this I see you doing that this week okay so here's the page of cups now you're going to get some possible apology that could be this week or going forward through the rest of April an apology from someone um, a new love opportunity creative opportunity this is a message coming in from someone okay you might even apologize to someone this week for cutting them off and explaining why you need to do something, okay? Hmm. You might kindly tell someone, you're abusive and I can't be in this relationship or this thing um, or explain to another person that you're making a change in your life because it's toxic, okay? Too toxic. So I feel like um, whatever this has to do with... Um, you might, uh, I see you apologizing to someone, a person, place, or thing, so to speak. You know, and even forgiving and apologizing yourself for staying in, a, in a, an abusive environment, a toxic environment this week. <clears throat> okay, there you go. Look at that. Putting up those boundaries here, Virgo. Being persistent. Maintaining your control. Maintaining your purpose. It's going to be a challenge, but you know, that... <laughs> it's just like birthing a baby it doesn't come without its challenges and its difficulties but the, the the beautiful gift at the end of the rainbow arrives eventually and there isn't anything that we go through in life if it's easy we wouldn't appreciate it you know so understand that the difficulties of this situation whatever it is in your life is part of the process of healing and change okay maintain course hold your vision and be honest with yourself and other people set those clear boundaries i see you doing that this week okay matter of fact it's matter of fact it's not a, it's not up for debate this thing with anyone that you need to have a conversation with this is looks like something you need to do for yourself this is clearing your mind giving direct communication, and becoming independent, setting clear boundaries. It's not up for debate. It's not to be something that you are willing to compromise on and telling um, or expressing that, communicating that, that you are not going to compromise on this. This is what's happening here. This is what you're doing. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay, Queen of Wands. Now, it did pop out in the reverse, which would represent, could be a Pisces or an Aries fire sign. And even in reversed, this is self-respect, could be self-confidence, um, introverted selfishness, jealousy or insecurity. So this might also have to do with you, Virgo, as well, you know? Looking at maybe some traits of yours or something that's been triggered within you. Um, maybe you're dealing with someone who's very selfish 
or insecure okay and uh, you you are setting them straight that's you not me and uh, that would be very toxic anytime there's a court card in the reverse that's toxicity of some sort okay so yeah it looks looks promising virgo this could be somebody at your work as well um for some more specifically someone like a boss or someone at your work who's stepping over your boundaries and causing problems you might be laying it out like this is what i'm doing you're making a change you might be telling someone this week i'm leaving this job or reporting them to human resources or doing something along those word, uh, those along those lines having high standards yeah confronting it looks like you might be confronting someone this week as well you're laying you're like putting the hammer down for a go okay that's a very specific message and here's the magician right taking action you're creating something virgo for yourself this week you're making plans taking that willpower you know making some magic happen this week for yourself okay you're done with the sadness you're done feeling like a failure you're done feeling like you're a disappointment you're done with the loss and dealing with the grief okay and it looks like you're going to manifest all that in others because you're taken up for yourself you're your best advocate this week virgo um yeah too much of a burden you been it looks like you're coming to terms with like you're grieving the fact that you've done everything it looks like you've been doing everything and really not getting appreciated for it a lack of appreciation You've been doing all the hard work at your job, taking on extra responsibilities, dealing with the BS. You're, you've been dealing with sadness. You've been dealing with like exhaustion, emotional grief um, at your job or in a relationship or just whatever is going on in your life. You're, you're coming to the end, like the struggle's over. And I think it's you who's, who's you're not waiting for fate to determine when this is going to be over. You're putting the hammer down this week. Yeah, it feels like you've been picking up for everyone or picking up after everyone and you're done you're you're getting out of enabling mode and letting others have their own consequences and putting yourself first this week which is yeah i mean hey it's a way to be it's a way to be okay so we have the empress we have the world two of cups oh a whole bunch of new beginnings this is you really virgo looking like you're valuing yourself this the empress is she's the queen of queens king of kings you know she's like the 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 head mother <laughs> the leader you know like the emperor more in a feminine energy accomplished recognizing that you're you you've done your the best you could as a parent okay you've done your development you you've done your work you're you've come you're recognizing your accomplishments um having an evolution taking action growth and walking away to have a new chapter and for some of you new love making it like coming there's this energy of connecting meeting someone this week who is like-minded or or people who are on the same page as you this is mutual mutual attraction mutual connection partnership and wow look at this <clears throat> swift change things start so i feel like this message is once you start valuing yourself virgo and appreciating yourself and you know fixing your crown and realizing who the f you are and accepting and realizing that you are worthy <clears throat> that gives you the confidence and the power to walk away um, and to arrive in a new place, right? With confidence, starting over. And once you let go, and rec but you recognize your value and your worth, that's when things start, that's when you start coming into, you meet the right people. That's when people start coming into your life who are right for you. Okay, whether that's a relationship, whether that's people at a job, whatever it is in your life. But you have to be in this position of the empress. You can't be a queen or a king. You've got to be the empress, you know, or the emperor in the feminine energy here. Okay. 
So this is really about your self-worth. Once you realize who you are, it, it, not in an egotistical way, but that you're valuable and you're worthy, you will have that confidence even more so to keep moving forward. And that's when you begin attracting people who are, who are like-minded, you know? The, the Empress does not dim her light so others can shine. And maybe you've been doing that. But when she recognizes her own wealth, her own worth, and allows her light to shine because she's wonderful, you attract that like-minded types of people in your life, okay? People that they get you, they're like, yeah. But it's not an egotistical thing. It's more of a healing energy. And things begin to really start moving in your life. And especially this week and going forward, even through the rest of this year. But it all starts with you, Virgo, because no one can give you your validation. No one can, no one, no one should ever have that kind of power. You have to give that to yourself, you know, through God, through spirit, through recognizing that you are valuable and accepting yourself, flaws and all. And that's when the right people start coming into your life or the right person. And here they come. Let's see who it is. Oh, okay. Got a king of wands here. So this shows up Scorpio, Sagittarius. It could also be Leo or Aries. This is someone who shows up. They're a natural leader, visionary, an entrepreneur. They see the big picture. They're a leader. They're very confident in overcoming challenges. They're mature, career focused. Okay. So this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And then you have temperance. So for some, that's double Sagittarius. Okay. This is your right person, right? Right person, right time coming into harmony, purpose, finding meaning through each other, right? The angels have been preparing this person for you, Virgo. You might already be with them, but they've been preparing you for this person. Look at the cups. They've been mixing up the elixir all the while, while you've been going through your changes and your healing, Okay, and so this King of Wands coming in could be a new boss. It could be a new partnership in a career um, that thinks you're a perfect fit for the company. This could be a new romantic relationship coming in with, from someone um, or someone that you're, this could all have already happened for you or begun to happen. And this is the rest of the story. So this is very beautiful. Okay, anything else Virgo needs to know for this week? Oh, look at this. I love it. You have the sun. Happy, happy, joy, joy. There you go. Positivity, pleasure, happiness, vitality, fun, joy, warmth, celebration, success, rebirth, and all is well. Virgo, this is beautiful. Leo energy there. And there's the new love. Yeah, the blessing coming in. I'm telling you, Virgo, it all starts with you. It all starts with you. And just being happy and content with who you are brings like-minded people. You know, um, like attracts like. So if you're not liking yourself, you're going to attract people that don't like you and don't like because they don't like themselves. When you start liking yourself and even to the point of loving yourself, you're going to attract people who feel that way about you because they feel that way about themselves as well. We can't love others unless we're loving, unless we love ourselves it's just not, it's otherwise we're people pleasers or we are codependent or things like that. So, you know, it, this is a beautiful energy. I just, I love this reading to start off your Sunday. All right, what else? Let's get some messages of love for Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Yeah, so you've got those, you need to fill those unhealed wounds with love patience, care. That's what the self-care was. Okay. Those are your obstacles. And that's part of like forgiving people that have hurt you, forgiving yourself for hurting others. Forgiveness clears the path always. And it's forgiveness doesn't mean forgive and forget. You should never, you, how can you forget when you've been cut your body, even your body? I don't know whoever said forget when, even when you get cut, there's a scar. Okay, but it doesn't have to dictate how your life should go forward, right? <clears throat> but don't hold grudges. <clears throat> and that's what that means. 
Forgive and forget means don't hold a grudge. Let go of grudges. Forgive and move on. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay. There comes your passion. Try something you've never done before. This might just be about putting yourself first, Virgo. But your passion starts to ignite. There's a fire. A fire gets lit within you. See the sun card there? That's the fire. And there's the abundance card. Beautiful. You've done the work, and so abundance flows to you now. That's how it works. Abundance begins to flow. We're often the the we're often limited <clears throat> in our ability to access our abundance due to ourselves being in the way of it. So there is a huge understanding about how we are restricted from our abundance because we get in the way of it. And then you have support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. So you seek out those supportive people in your life who, who tell you, uh, they don't, supportive people don't tell you what to do. Supportive people are just there to listen to you and pretty much say, I got your back, whatever you choose. That's support. People who are trying to tell you how to live your life, those are controlling people and most likely people that don't want to see you grow. Okay, so learn what the difference is. What else does Virgo need to know? And you have play hard. Wow, Virgo, enjoy your life, man. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other and enjoy yourself. You know, we only get one go around in life here. Find that time to laugh. Be happy. There's no reason to be down in the dumps or feel sad about things, right? Because <clears throat> when you look back on your life, you're going to ask yourself, was I happy? You can make up your mind to be happy every single day. Intuition, you already know the answer that you seek to the situation. Oh, and you've got a twin flame coming in. Divine counterpart connection. And that does not say karmic twin. This says a divine counterpart connection. And that's what that temperance card is. That's divine timing. You have a twin flame coming in. And that's help. That's healthy. That's a healthy connection. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but it's somebody coming in who has the description that I gave you. All right, what else does Virgo need to know here? Another message or two? Okay, no regrets. Yep, have no regrets, Virgo. New plans are evolving. Don't, re don't regret the past. Make those plans. Do what you need to do for yourself. And you have stand your ground. Stand up for yourself, Virgo, with that Queen of Swords energy. You also have a sweet text message coming in from someone this week, which brings an emotional wish that gets granted. So that's, that's, I love that energy. Oh, wow. I love it. You have the wheel of fortune here. Luck is on your side. The wheel is turning in your favor. You have the Midas touch. Good things are coming now. So be ready. Yes, you deserve this. Karma is on your side for all the good you've put out. It's coming back around and what a payoff it is. Love it, Virgo. The Wheel of Fortune is all about change and things moving in your favor, Virgo. So take the opportunity, you know, trust your gut. When the time is right, make that move. Do what you need to do. You don't, you know, so this could just be something that you're ruminating about this week. Um, go when you're ready to go. Make the move. Make the change when you're ready to, to do it. Okay, because you need, you're the one that has to live with it. You're the one that has to be comfortable with it and okay with it. Not when other people tell you to go. If I, you hear me saying you're going to go this week, it doesn't mean you are. You might decide to just hold off another week. Whatever you need to do, do what's best for you. Okay, let's get some Chinese signs and see who we got on the table here. Year of the what? Year of the what? Okay, hold on. I'm going to give this a really good shuffle because I feel like, let me do it this way. I feel like these cards, I don't know, something's coming out here for me. <clears throat> Somebody's coming out. Okay, let's see. Year of the what? Year of the rooster. That's right. <laughs> Year of the goat. Nice. Year of the horse. Year of the ox. Year of the snake. Year of the goat again, year of the pig, and year of the dragon. Hala, we are in the year of the dragon. Can you tell? 
Can you tell that we are in the year of the dragon, the fire dragon? Well, it's actually the wood dragon, but what happens when you put fire to wood? It burns up. We, the dragon year is always the go-getter year. And this year so far has been incredulous. It's been, it's just crazy. Everything that's been happening, maybe down in your personal life or just in the world, there's just been one thing after another. And that is the example of a, of a, wood, of a, of a dragon year. Okay. And this is going to keep on going as we go throughout the rest of 2024. It's just going to be one surprise after another. I'm sure that you guys have noticed. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Okay, so let's see what initials come out. See if we can qualify this reading for you or names or dates. All right, so we've got Virgo. We have Cancer. Capricorn is here and Pisces. All right, we've got the letter I, the letter T. Let's see. We have a W. Someone is very witty, has very witty humor. We have a Z. Someone is going to Lamaze classes. Uh, Lamaze, is that what it's called? We have the letter F. I don't F with it. I don't F with you. The letter L. We have the letter P. We have um, another F. Somebody's filling out their... Uh, loan application. I heard someone's filling out a loan application this week. The letter A. I just heard, okay, a Michael Jackson song, Pretty Young Thing, P-Y-T. Do you remember that? Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, we have the letter N. Oh, someone's going to be an LPN or is an LPN, maybe going up to become a nurse or is a nurse or getting the rest of their degrees. Someone lives on Elm Street. Someone lives on Elm. Okay, we have an O. All right, so 1965, 1987. Um, let's see, 1972, 1985. August 25th, September 19th, September 2nd, September 14th, August 31st. Someone is 32, someone is 38, someone is 52, someone is 59. September 3rd, someone's born in December, someone's born in April. Okay, they, and so when I call out those non-Virgo months, that could be someone that you're connecting with. We also have the letter J, and someone is 44. Wow, Virgo, okay, let's get your charms. Oh, nice. Okay, so you have a crescent moon with stars. Very significant to someone here. Crescent moon. So a crescent moon, mm, I don't know if that's a waxing or a waning moon. Now, let's see. Monday the 15th. So I feel like they're telling me August, uh, sorry, April 19th is going to be, have a significant shift for a Virgo here. August, uh, I keep wanting to say August 19th, but I don't know, maybe your birthday's August, somebody's birthday's August, but it's April 19th will be a significant shift. Now there isn't any major thing, moon thing going on, but it's just kind of, I just, I'm just feeling a very strong shift around the 19th of this month for someone. I'm not really sure in which direction, but it, for some of you, this might be the shift that you're going to make a move here on the 19th, a, a big change. Um, so that would be next Friday, the beginning of the weekend. Maybe that'll show up in the weekend reading. We'll have to check back and see. Okay, what else do you have? Let me just drop one here. Oh, look, all this planet energy. <laughs> okay, so is that Saturn? Saturn? Saturday? Something to do, the 19th and the 20th. So then we shift, we begin to shift into Taurus season as well. So Taurus might be significant to you. 
around the end of this April, or someone is significant to you that's a Taurus, it's a major shift occurring. All right, anything else Virgo needs to know? I'm not even looking. I'm just going to drop one. Oh, love me. Some of you are going to just start loving yourselves. That's just it. Oh, look, and one last one. Some of you make that decision. You get that cleaver out. You get that axe. And you just cut something off. Or, you know, negative thinking. You make a change. You start loving yourself. You end a relationship. Or you start a new one. There's something beautiful happening here towards the end of next week. For sure, there's a shift. Some of you might just be cutting meat right now as you're listening <laughs> and loving yourselves. Maybe you're making a really good meal for yourself or you're cooking, trying a new recipe. I kind of feel like some of you might be stargazing. Uh, somebody might be buying a telescope or looking through a telescope, looking at the planets, the moon, the stars, all that really cool stuff. That's so awesome. Invite me over so I can look too. Um, maybe you're going to visit like a planetarium or you're doing something to do with science and astrology or astronomy there's something you know on a world level um some of you are actually going to see two moons somewhere they just said you're going to see two moons on a world level though um I don't, yeah, I'm not picking up anything on a world level. And you guys know I have been. I hope you went and checked out that video, that um, that anomaly that I found that I felt like had a lot to do with um, the red ring and the sand and everything I saw. It's in my community tab. Click on the community tab and you can, you can check that out. Really cool, weird alien stuff. I don't know what's going on. You also have a gift here, a present. So some of you are either giving a gift or you are receiving a gift this week from someone. You're getting a gift or from spirit. A gift is coming to you wrapped in a pretty bow, <clears throat> coming to you or you are giving one this week. All right, you guys, so I'm going to leave that there. Short and sweet, but looks like a powerful week ahead for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. I will see you all back here tomorrow. So we go into the rest of, you know, your episodal <laughs> episodic readings to see what else is showing up. And um, again, if you want to get a personal reading with me, just click on the link and book your reading. Hopefully, if you guys, um, if you click on the link and it's not working, just leave a comment here. I'm going to post the link to get a personal reading in the comment section under this video if you're unable to find it. And uh, yeah, I will see you all back here tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.